Hey YouTube, this is NJ Full Rider 5, and yep, it's my face, and yes, the patch is real. Uh, I wanted to show my face on the video after my 1000 mark. I know I haven't hit my 1000 mark yet, but I'm planning to in the next couple months. But I wanted to make sure that the video is going forward. I try to show my face more. Uh, that way you guys can see who who's doing all the business. Um, I have a couple of projects coming up that you guys might be really interested in. Uh, the first one is going to be this Viola Mart e-bike kit. This is actually a Viola Mart uh, 48 volt, 1500 watt rear wheel uh, e-bike kit. Um, this costs the $250 on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description. After this uh, build, or probably during the build, I'll be doing a solar generator for a friend. Uh, this friend's got his own battery company. Um, we'll get more in detail once I get those. Uh, he's actually going to be supplying the batteries for his build, uh, which are like 3300 LGs, and he'll be supplying the batteries for my build. Uh, it's kind of a co-sponsorship. Um, the other guy, you guys all know, you actually know both of these people. Uh, I'll leave uh, their links down into the description. Uh, we got uh, we got Keith at, uh, at 18650 EV, and then we got Terry at... Uh, power to spare uh, both those guys are co-sponsoring uh, these builds uh, not so much my e-bike build except for the batteries uh, Terry's supplying he's supplying me with some like uh, 3300 Sanyo's the ones that were done after 2006 or 2016 whatever he told me that told me they're the Sanyo's that don't get hot or whatever they are so I'll be using those and uh, yeah, so I'd give you more specs on the solar generator, but we're still in kind of like, you know, uh, trying to figure out what parts we're gonna build. I pretty much have all the parts down and I've already turned in the BOM to him. I'm um, waiting for him to get back to me. Once he gets back to me, I'll know if I should go forward. Uh, or, you know, who knows, it could change on a dime, the reason why I haven't given you the specs yet. But uh, we could start off with this Viola Mark. Um, these uh, videos are gonna be in parts. I know they're gonna be way too long to stick in one video. I might end up with like a two hour video on a lot of people don't like that, you know. You know, my videos are already long. So I'm gonna to try to squeeze it down a little bit into parts so that we can all in, uh, so that you guys can, you know, I guess enjoy them better. Um, by the way, thanks for all the subscribers that have subscribed to my channel and been with me for so long. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. We'll get into the unboxing of this Viola Mart. Um, like I said, I got this at Amazon for 250. I'll leave the link down in the description. I did a lot of research before I bought this. I actually, I think it was like uh, Viola Mart's like the number one purchased uh, maker in 2018 or some something like that. Uh, 2019, it just was like one company already online and the Izzy bikes were way expensive. I had to get something I could afford. Um, with every e-bike, uh, I've seen a lot of people mentioning that you need to make sure you get a torque. I don't know what they call these torque something. I'll leave that down in the description. Anyways, I guess this keeps the uh, keeps the frame from twisting the bolts out and breaking on you. So uh, I had to get one of these. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description too. Uh, this costed around ten bucks. The bike I had had a crappy uh, kickstand, so I got a kickstand with a little oomph. This is uh, about eight bucks i'll leave the link down in the description um yeah so my bike is a schwinn if i didn't already say that uh the schwinn i got on sale for uh i got it at a goodwill and it looked like it didn't have no it looked like it hardly even been used and they had a uh um, they have like those tags on there and it's like 50 percent off so i ended up walking out of there with the bike costing like 27 dollars plus tax uh it was a pretty sweet deal you guys will see that bike um and uh yeah again hi guys it's me uh nj 4 water 5 joe in case uh some of you guys don't know um let's get to the unboxing and uh hopefully you'll be able to see you. oh i got this thing in like two days just so you guys are in just case you guys are wondering it took two days to get here in america i live in washington um Amazon Prime, those guys are awesome. Okay, 
inner tube. Looks like the sprocket, motor. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Somebody had mentioned that there wasn't a tire tape in there. And they said that if you put your bike together without the tire tape, it would give you a flat tire, but yeah, looks like I got one right here. It says 26 by uh, 16. Okay, so we got a 26 kit here. Um, this is the tire. And the manual. Let's see what we got in the box. Looks like the uh, housing for the battery terminals. Uh, wire wrap. Looks like this is for pedal assist. Yep, magnets on there. It's for pedal assist. Comes with new brake handles. And the brake handles have wire in it, I guess, that tell the motor whenever you're braking and it's supposed to help uh, with the efficiency of the battery. Uh, there's the throttle, and it's got this little reader here, but from what I've read online, this little reader only tells you whenever you're, tells you if you got a full battery or a low battery. It doesn't tell you that your battery is dying. So I may actually add something, you know, next to this that tells me how, how charged my battery is and uh, the voltage, which would be nice. Just, just you know, so that, I, so that I don't run it out. Comes with more ties and the charge controller. Let's see if it's got anything that says on the charge controller. It says DC Moto controller by lithium battery. Uh, voltage is DC 48. Off road 35 uh, 35 amps, 1500 watt. Uh, an RC CAD with speed limiter, it'd be 22 amps, 750 watts. Uh, speed set 1.1.4.2 V dual mode. Uh, booster 1.1, it's dated 8.3.19. And uh, all the wiring that goes to all the parts. Looks like good solid wire. Uh, this is really the charge controller that they showed in the in uh, whenever I purchased it. It looked like they had a black one, and it looked like it was uh, looked like it was set up for you know for waterproofing and stuff like that. But uh, that's not a problem. I'll be I'll probably end up, I'll probably end up putting this inside of something so it doesn't get wet. Alright, well, that's really all there is to it, so uh, I guess um, I'll get to the battery first. Uh, this is just the unboxing. Uh, it's a 2.6 kit. Um, yeah, there's not really much to it, so uh, please like, subscribe, and share. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And uh, I'll check you guys out in the next video.